Hi YouTube, I am Jared from Photo to Canvas, and today's video is about a homemade bulletin board. Now, I recently had a customer reach out and ask if they had any ideas on how I could make them a canvas that they could put pins in and that would stay. Now, they weren't looking for something that they were going to regularly swap out pictures. Um, this is my print, as you can see, it's a large map. Um, so this company wants to do something with marking some places. The pins are going to remain for however long that they're going to pull them out, they're going to move them. Um, the first thing we talked about was simply buying a bulletin board and me wrapping it with canvas. Bulletin boards tend to be really flimsy. Um, you have to deal with finding the bulletin board. We have to deal with the experimentation of it. I, I was just kind of nervous about it. Um, they wanted this three foot by four foot. So I started thinking about things that we could do to make this work for them. And what I came up with is foam core, uh, to basically put a piece of foam core behind the canvas within the frame that would allow the pin to have something to sink into and still allow me to use a traditional canvas with frame. Um, so I did a little test. I did like a little nine by 12 with a piece of foam core. The only real concern I had was that this like the foam core would have flex when you push the pin but because it's a three foot by four foot it's going to have bracer bars in it so i'm not really concerned about the the uh, foam core flexing too much so we're going to go ahead and try this out i'm not actually going to test it because obviously i don't want to stick a pin in this canvas print of this customers um but we're just going to see what it looks like this is my frame. Now, the stretcher bars that I use, and pretty much all stretcher bars, have a little bump out on the edge that keeps the canvas away so you don't see this line through the face of your canvas. The bump out is not that thick. The foam core I'm gonna use is 3 16ths um, because I want it a little bit thicker. The bump out is maybe an eighth of an inch thick, so I'm not gonna bother with you know, mortising this out to uh, rabbiting this out, whatever, to uh, accommodate for the foam core. So my concern and why I wanted to do the test was if the foam core is a little bit proud up at this edge, you know, it's gonna be a quarter inch away from the edge or so. Um, if it's a little bit proud, I didn't want there to be a line around the edge. And there didn't seem to be on my, uh, on my test, or there wasn't on my test. So I'm hoping that just the you know the softness of the foam core as the canvas wraps will allow that edge to just kind of cushion down and it'll look fine so let's uh get this going we're going to measure a piece of foam core that's a little bit you know the inside that lip inside that lip same the other direction i might make it like an eighth of an inch smaller just so i'm not fighting with it um, then I'm going to lay it in here and get my T50 stapler that I use for my canvas. And I'm just going to put a couple of staples so the foam core doesn't move around. Cause once it's, once the canvas is on, that'll, that'll lock it in for us. Um, but yeah, let's give it a go and see how it works. There it is. Big old bulletin board. Um, so there is a bevel on the edge where it comes down from the foam core. I really don't think the customer is going to have an issue with this um, considering what it's being used for and that they knew this was experimental. Um, so to fix that in the future, if you were concerned about this, you know, the solution would be to run your stretcher bars through a table saw before um, assembling and take another 16th or an eighth off of that face below the lip or use thinner foam core. Um, but I think the thicker foam core is better just for the stability of the pins. Um, so it was an interesting experiment. Uh, I think they'll be happy and it's a cool map and uh, that's all I got. 
I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.